Hello everybody, Lord of Flames here. Now we're into another creepy review video. And this is mostly about this type of game that only makes it look like it was in the 90s and make it look like it was made into Half-Life version, but much a bit dark. This game is called No Players Online. It's this type of V-ish horror game which you only play alone, which this game was mostly made like in the 90s and years later, no players online and you're the only one in. So who knows what's in the game that you might find and discover the truth. Well, here we go. You first start with a VH coming out of nowhere and you uh, mostly starts it. And that's when the game starts until it's mostly a uh, shows with the top of play VH screen and it takes you to an uh, online mostly a menu screen for a new type of game and it shows so many servers you can choose to go on but they're all empty between every 16 players but zeros so you choose any type of servers you want until you start with a thing about capturing a flag three times and you just go around and sometimes the map is kind of a little bit short or smaller <laughs> anyways you discover the type of tombs around your area, which is kind of odd. Which type of map is it? Until so you mostly took one type of flag and you brought it in and you took one score, and then sometimes you discover this type of old music box or something, which is playing. And you have different choices between one, you leave it while it plays, or two, if it annoys you, you could just shoot it. But that choice you might do, it'll upset someone in the game with you, because you're not alone. Because the more you explore around the map to capture more flags, you discover something else. Because since I already said you're not alone, it's mostly just because you've seen this type of strange black figure, which looks kind of different, it looks very odd. Until it disappears every second once you try to get closer. You took a second flag and you're mostly going to get to the third flag. Mostly you got to see the red light until the other one, which is not the light this time, it's mostly that same figure. But this time, you turned around into this long hall. It was right there behind you and it run towards you or something. And it shows its face, which is very unrecognizable. And then it disappears and a new player joins the game, which is mostly the creator of the game, which is odd. Until you mostly got the red flag and this creator mostly tried to uh, tell you to leave the game, leave him and this person, this strange figure alone. Cause he now explains the story about this game and who is this figure is. He mostly first started mostly because this figure is mostly his dead wife who mostly passed pass away from something. And he tries his best to bring her back from the dead by creating this game for some reason so he could keep her alive but only shows her in the game and the type of music you sh might shoot really uh, upsets her because that was her favorite game to keep her calm but now there are choices you might try to do if you want to leave the game just leave those two alone so he can try his best to get his wife back or you could just bring the flag to his own score so you could try to end this once and for all so you mostly start going to the flag and mostly you already did and you're going to the final step and the creator is trying to stop you by messing you so many times but it didn't work once you uh bring the flag it mostly cuts and mostly uh takes you out of the game it's mostly like a glitch or something and so you decide to just go back to the game and start over and which type of other reason you might try to do. So let's go back to the same part before you uh, add the flag, the final one. So you decide to leave the game and decide to go back. And the creator was, was mostly confused and mad at why you didn't leave. And so now he spectates you every time. So what happens there? Well, you try to find the creator as a player, but he's nowhere in sight. Until you look around many times until you notice an eye staring at you at the sky. And why is that? Well, that's mostly the creator himself who's mostly spectates you. So what you have 
choice, you choose it, and it takes you to a random screen with a random type of recording footage showing a paper and this random person, whoever it is, is using a pencil to wrote it, doing the type of um, lines, so it must, could be some sort of heartbeat. And some people think it could be a code or something that leads to something more secret, but who knows, until it stops there and uh... So what does this all mean? Well, let's start with this. It all happens after the creators mostly just created this game and everything was fun until something different about after his wife died. He goes a little bit mad or crazy. He's mostly tried to bring his wife back from the dead by using this game of his to take her soul or something to put into this so he could just still see her every time. And he always leaves some music or something to keep her entertained so she won't still be alone, won't be forgotten. Until years later, it's like everything's left in the dark. One player, which is us, in, went into the game and decided to do something different. So we mostly played the game first and everything seemed normal. But when she appears, something's different about seeing her win her own type of appearance. It's like she almost showing her full appearance as human, but... It only shows her type of ghost self, rather much more darker at, at first, much more scary. And so, something about getting those flags finished is mostly something about releasing her or something to take her out of the game so she could finally rest. But the creator, mostly the husband, trying not to let that happen, because he's crazy. So, this player is mostly something else, like it's mostly because this game was made like in the 90s and this type of player, whoever it is, it could be just a random teenager who's playing it, or rather just a detective or something, trying to end this, which he knows the stories or something about those two people. And so, something about this, curious about everyone, about how this story will end up. Well, there's mostly this type of DLC version or something that leads you to an art secret that you mostly uh, keep continue playing the game and you went down to this type of, um, to the bottom ground, mostly to the water, until you, uh, Teleported to a different type of room with this computer and all these walls saying, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Which it could be the lines from the creator who's mostly is sorry for what he's done. Something Bell try to, uh, try to get his wife back or something, or it's something else. And so, something about this new type of white flag right there you're going to replace, but it's mostly said replace so. What does this mean? Well, if that could be a different reason than without just being the original idea and thing about using free flags and you end her suffering about without being trapped in the game by freeing her. So this one is different. By having your soul replaced with her, by having her set free and you trap in the game, which could be true or not. And so that's the end for my review for this type of game. Hope you enjoy it. There's a Lord of Claims here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.